What do you think? One group of kids is um, here on the rocky pools with me and we are just uh, looking at the environment, searching for uh, animals and other organisms and the funny funny thing is that most of these kids have never seen even like a sea urchin, like today was the first time they saw a sea urchin or a sea cucumber or a crab. <laughs> So they were just caught walking around in the rock pools uh, and as soon as any of them found an animal then we all got uh, over there and we I tried to explain them well I tried to have them guessing uh, what animals it was and how does it feed uh, how does it move why does it live here <laughs> it's not that nice but if you hold it in your hands that is a nice I feel it moving and it's kind of nice. It's got an animal. Yeah, macht Spaß, eh? Seegel mit dem Mund und all dem, und was die fressen, habe ich nicht gewusst. How many we find? So at the end of the day, we know which is our academic work. It is part of the syllabus. Some of the questions. Uh, what they learn, like this is now like practical activity. When they go back to the exams, they will be able to remember very well. There's one behind. I didn't expect to get so much rubbish in one place. I mean, we filled one bag, two bags in five minutes before we got there. We're hoping that uh, people will stop littering so much and hope that they get a sense of environment like our environment needs to be taken care of if our beach is dirty then the tourists won't come to see and without the tourists we, we won't have like any money because without them here in Mombasa then we're as good as nothing It's delicious. I just thought we somewhere just sitting down, just eating uh, normal, normal kind of food. So this was a surprise to me. Very big surprise. Kamba na funga kwa kiunu. Chenyelewa. Ni kazi ngumu, sio kazi rahisi, ni kazi ya kuwa yani ukijisikia pia sometimes ukifika nyumbani umicho umichoka. Ukikaa mahali yani ile kwa umepumzika, utaka kusimuliwa sababu hakuna kazi rahisi. Hata kazi ya kusema ni kazi ngumu, ni kazi ngumu. Naweza wazaiko kwa office ili akukaa Naweza shikwa na mos, muscles. Kwa ofisi naweza kaa tu ile kuandika tu peke yake. Ukashikwa na muscles, muscles. Kule kukaa peke yake. Mtu atakuta ni kazi rai, ni kazi rais. Lakini kiondo ka hapo nashikwa na muscles sababu mikaa kiasi kama cha masaa mawili.
We have a lot of issues here on the coast with the fishermen. Um, they tend to just cut their nets off their boats when they're broken and um, turtles and dolphins swim into their nets. They die, they decompose, they sink to the bottom and the decomposing tissue ferments, um, causing bubbles in the tissue and they rise up into the middle of the ocean and that leads more turtles and dolphins into the same net. So at one time you can bring out a net and there's probably five or six turtles stuck in this net. So I, hopefully Earth Day will make people more aware of this situation and um, it can stop. A whale shark is actually a shark and not a whale the way many people think it is. And how big do you think its mouth is? Because it has a small throat. And, uh, and how big do you think a baby whale shark would be? Do you think it can be? That one was found in the Philippines. It was found by a scientist. A female whale shark. It does also from a female whale shark that was found dead, and there were in different developments. I thought the children's presentation is really so important because my experience is that when you start talking to young people and children about coral and its life or about whales and their life, I mean, they're fascinated. Well, I thought it was very interesting and it showed what uh, even a small organization with quite limited resources can do. And it was a process of sort of bottom-up building, changing of attitude, changing of people's views and thinking about a subject. So that sort of bottom-up uh, process can be really important in, in, in building a change. It has been a wonderful time and uh, it is very great because actually I've uh, been into so many places but uh, just like uh, it's my first time to, to see what you have shown us. Uh, at least it has given me a picture and it has a message on me and uh, I feel it has given a message to others also. To us, it has been a very, very important exercise and we are anticipating and hoping that even our own employees learn something small from it because it was a new thing. We, we are used in terms of uh, conservation of the environment in very different ways, especially, I'll say, let's say in terms of cleanups, very, very active, in terms of planting trees, very, very active. But for the marine, this was one of its own kind. And uh, shell collection, you know, very, very small things, you know, and uh, with, with, the, with the clients, most of the clients are very positive today. They learned something that they never knew about it, and they're very much looking forward when they go into the ocean, they know what, what sea life exists there and how to behave whilst in the ocean as well.